Hello everyone, so today we are going to be making this um, panda that is 3D, it's got a little bit of bobble, bobbly head, um, mural, um, so all you need to make this is you need a couple of sheets of paper, some felt tip pens or pencils or paint, um, and I've also used scissors, um, and I've also used some prep stick or glue, but again, sellotape would work or anything else sticky that you've got, um, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to draw the bamboo on our um, back sheet of paper. So I'm just going to use some green and some yellow, some green and some yellow um, to do this. I'm going to show you how I do it. Um, so I'm going to do mine and I'll show you kind of what I've done um, and then if you guys want to copy that, that's fine or you can do your own thing um, and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so this is how I have done um, my background. So I've got some grass at the bottom and some some bamboo um, coming at the top. So I've just done some strips and coloured them in and then drew some leaves on as well. Um, so it's really simple, but if you want to copy, that is what I've done right there. So I'll leave that for a second. And then what we're going to do next is we are going to draw the panda body so how i've done this is i've just basically drawn a tooth shape so a big semicircle and then a smaller semicircle in it so we're going to do this and we're going to do the same but slightly smaller um so i'm going to cut this out and show you what that looks like um, and then i'll tell you what to do next okay so what we're going to do is once we have cut out our first tooth shape like this we're going to cut out a second one that's a little bit smaller um, so that they fit on to one another like that. Um, so what I did was I actually just drew around this one um, and then just like shadowed the shape round but a little bit smaller. Um, so then we're going to do that and we're going to cut them out like this and then what we're going to do is we're going to colour in the bottom half of our teeth shape like that. So I'm going to just show you what bits I'm colouring in. So I am going to colour in below the lines black, so I'm going to do that and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so once we have coloured in our two bits of body like this, the next thing that we need to do is we need to do the face. So what I'm going to do for the face is I'm just going to take a little bit of paper like this um, and I'm going to take a cup that I've got and I'm going to draw around bottom, I'm going to draw around the bottom of the cup to make a circle, like so, um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it out, I'm also going to actually draw on two ears, so I'm actually going to cut out that shape there. Um, and then I'm going to show you how to draw on the face once I've done that um, and then I'll show you how to stick it all together. Okay, so this is how I have coloured in my panda face like this. Um, it's just a little panda face with some black ears. Um, things gone a little bit lopsided, that's okay. Um, adds character. So now we are going to stick all of our bits together to make the finished photo. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the big tooth shape, which is the panda's bottom, and we're going to stick it to the picture that we drew earlier. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a little bit of prep stick, and I'm just going to glue the bottom of the feet and just put some glue on the back of it so that it will stick. Like so. Um, and I'm just going to stick it straight down into the middle of the painting like this. Um, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to, I've already done it, but we're going to cut a couple of strips of paper like this um, and I am actually going to cut this one. I'm going to cut this one in half like so and all I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half like this. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of glue make a little circle. So I'm going to glue it like that 
and I'm going to make three of those so I'll use the other half of that strip just to glue it together two. and three like so so once you've made your three little circles like this we are going to stick them to the panda so I'm going to stick one on each leg and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit of glue um, down the side like that I'm just going to stick it on like so I'll put one up there like so, so that they'll be stuck on like that. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the smaller, which is the front of the pan's body. I'm just going to put glue about where the circles will stick um, when we put it on. I'm just going to flip it over and I'm just going to stick it on like that. So that's our first bit stuck on like that. Now for the second one what we're going to do is we're going to take our strip of paper and we are going to fold it like this, fold it like this. So we take it and we do a diagonal fold so that we have a little shape like that and we take the first leg and we fold it over like that and we take the second one and we fold it over like that. We take the third one and we fold it over like that and fold it over again, fold it over again, fold it over once more and fold it over like that. Now what we're going to do, so it makes a little, a little spring like that, is we're going to glue the two ends together. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue there and fold that one over so that we've got a little concertina shape like that. Now, I am going to stick it with the glue to the back of the head, like so, like that, and then I'm going to put some glue on the end of this, like that, and I'm going to stick it to the feet, like so, so that, and then just pull it a little bit. And that is our finished, so it's got a little bobbly head, 3D panda. So I hope you had fun and I look forward to seeing yours.